It's not important to say I own a business. What's important is to make sure that that business continues to grow. And it's not going to grow if your ego gets ahead of the business. So it's very, very important to stay humble. When you're a leader, when you're leading any business, it may seem like, oh, it's a platform, da 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 da, where you're providing a service that if people get negative experiences, they'll walk away from you, regardless of how excellent your brand really is. So be very, very service conscious. It's what makes your business work. And if you just don't have the gene for it, then partner with someone who does. And let that person manage people. Because not everyone is good at people management. So you must know your strengths and you must know your weaknesses. It's what mergers and acquisitions are about on a grand scale. Because there are times when you may not need to. You may tick all the boxes of what's essential in order for you to move to the next level. But if you do a reality check and you know that you don't tick all those boxes, don't listen to the people who say, fake it till you make it. Don't fake anything. Come as you are. Because it's about honesty and integrity. There's nothing you have to chase. If you work in excellence, automatically, the cream rises to the top. Hard work, diligence, it's never failed anyone. Now, if you get that one big contract and you don't operate in excellence, it may be the last big contract that you have. So at that point, it's imperative that you get a financial partner, even if it means just for that project. But make sure you're fair. You know where your profit margin will be. And all hands on deck, when you have that honesty and integrity, it's important to go to that person and say, listen, this is the contract I have. These are the margins I stand to make. I'm willing to give you 30%, 40% once the, the job is done. And if you are that honest with them, I promise you, the next corporate contract that you get, they'll finance it for you. And so those are the people you call sometimes your high net worth individuals. But when you start playing games, because you see the, 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 the spread, you see the, the margins, and think, oh, but I could, I could keep 100% of it, so maybe I'll just hide whatever amount that I'm making in terms of profits. You know, you can do that, but it would show your energy. It will show you your aura, it will show you your spirit. And when that distrust is there, the next time you come, they will say no. So it's very, very important when you go into any deal negotiation to make sure that you're working with the full deck of cards, you're being honest, you're being forthright, such that if you're put through due diligence, you can pass the litmus test. Therefore, if you're in that office, and you don't show up with confidence and knowledge, you're telling the CEO one message, I'm not ready for prime time. So it's very important that you understand the company credo within which you're working. But for you guys, you're business owners. So this will apply to your clients. What is it that your client is looking for you, from you? You need critical thinking and analytical reasoning. If you know what can benefit your clients, go above and beyond the call of duty to make sure that they get it. That's the reason you get vertical integration in some partnerships. Because whatever product I may be providing, I could be working with a client that needs a lot more. So if I partner with someone else, I'm in a position to deliver so much more to that same client by the same time, expanding my business. But because we kind of come to businesses with a sort of closed mindset, we stay small for too long. 
because we call it holding everything to the best. It does not help you. You're not hiding from anyone but yourself. The next person you're talking to may be the one who could help you move to the next level. It's integrity and trust. Without those two things, don't you ever even try to think about a partnership. But at the same time, don't make yourself the person that lacks the integrity. Because if you lack integrity, your business will crumble. I don't care how well it is. It's only a matter of time. It's not sustainable. No businesses grow from incubation to exponential growth with leaders who lack integrity. And integrity means tell it like it is. You don't have to go and I, I made a million dollars last year and when you're put to the test, you cannot show the million dollars that you made. And the only reason you said that was because you wanted to have a bigger share of the partnership. Oh, I started this, I said, so what? If you have the idea to start one thing, you can always start another. Yeah. And like I said, there's nothing that says you must have 100% of anything because shared profits is also shared risks. Yeah. It's also shared ideas. So you actually are mitigating your risks and you're truly enhancing your value because what is a stress for you, for someone else, it's easy. The connections that the other person may have would bring you a lot more value, a lot more money, and you would grow faster. So be very careful and make sure that at any given time, you are operating with a spirit of integrity. The worst thing you can do is be the kind of person who cannot be trusted. You have the key pillars. You have integrity. You have um, respect, you, you have trust, honesty, all of that, which all fall under the umbrella of integrity, automatically you will get referrals. It's automatic. You're operating in excellence. If you know you're running late, call and say I'm running late. If you know that you cannot deliver, please tell the client, I can't do it. I'll try to see if I can get someone else who can help. Don't feel the need to take contracts that you cannot implement. And it's unimportant if maybe the client continues to work with that person. Because guess what? They would always go back and remember you. And something else would come to you. So there's really nothing that... I have a concept. What it says is there's nothing I have to have. <laughs> And it's part of your spiritual freedom. Because when you have this concept in your head, well, I must have this, and by this year, I must make a million dollars. Why? Are you running your own life? <laughs> There's a higher power that brought you into earth and had a reason for doing so and has a destiny for you. The only way you get to that destiny is what you do today. And if you craft a business narrative that says, I'm a crook, I would say one thing and do something else, you will never get to it. All you're going to do is dream about success and pretend to be successful. If you also identify success as money, you're in trouble. Because you start to cut corners in order to be seen as somebody in town, I'm arri arriving where? <laughs> You know, all of those things, it's your ego. Now, you cannot do something wrong and think that because you go to beg. And that whole begging thing does not work well in the real corporate. If you do something wrong, fall on your sword. Take responsibility, take ownership for doing the wrong thing. And commit to making amends. That's what works. Do not make excuses for the inexcusable. It's your show, it's your business, you must run the show right. You, if you're not ready to take responsibility, 
you want to blame the dog that ate your shoe, the fly that stood on the wall. I'm sorry. Essentially, you're saying, I'm not too concerned about this because I'm more concerned about the money. But if you're doing the wrong things, the money will not get there because the word spreads past. <clears throat> and at the end of the day, you work with people. So if you have a bad attitude, you need to start working on that. And that's personal development. If you have, if you lack confidence, start working on that. Because it's personal development. If you lack kindness, and not even knowing how to speak with good purpose, it's something you need to work on. And it doesn't come overnight. Personal development is a lifelong thing. She's just amazing. She's amazing. Honestly.